Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl mainly, but also we have this crossover poster that we're going to be going over. And like I said in yesterday's video, I am currently away at San Diego Comic Con, so obviously the mic is different. I think the quality was actually pretty good. And so, yeah, you may notice like a change in my voice. Maybe I'm a bit tired, it's because I'm still jet lagged, so. Yeah, bear with me for the next few days, but it's been such an exciting event. But anyway, so we're not really talking about much Comic-Con stuff in today's video, but what we have is some absolutely amazing news, and that is that Jeremy Jordan, who plays Windshot on Supergirl, is confirmed to be returning in Season 5. The exclusive article comes from Entertainment Weekly, where they found out that he's actually returning and it's actually confirmed this time it's not like last season or you know two seasons ago when they were like oh we'll probably bring him back for season four but they didn't end up bringing him back because you know he was super busy but he's fully committed he actually tweeted out a tweet that he's super super excited to return to this tv show because you know he's been gone for a long while and what has been sort of confirmed is he's not going to be a series regular but he's going to return and he's going to be in the back half of the season for about three to four episodes. And I do believe he may be in crisis. That has been a rumor sort of going around today. But yeah, so he's 100% returned. This is super, super exciting due to the fact that, you know, he went away. He was such a big character. He wasn't in season four. I felt like that presence was definitely missed. And so I'm beyond delighted that he's returning and when I first saw the news today I sort of lost it because you know he's one of my favorite characters in the Arrowverse and so with that you would presume if he's coming back in Crisis potentially you get mon returning for Crisis and we know episode 13 is the 100th episode surely mon comes back because you know when went into the future with mon it would really make sense that would be a way to bring him back you know, whether he's, you know, I'm talking about mon here, whether he's a series regular or not, or if he's just a guest star in, like, the 100th episode and Crisis, and that's about it. I think the perfect way to do that would be with the return of Win. So, super, super excited about that. Let me know in the comments down below how excited are you to see that Win is returning. I felt like he was definitely, you know, a big loss to the show when season four came around okay so let's move on to talk about the next thing and so the next thing is this awesome new poster and it's again on the same street the same background so this is teasing what is happening this fall you know with all the shows returning and crisis obviously coming and what you see is batwoman it's a old photo it's not like a new photo shoot that they've done you got this same version of the flash that we saw a few weeks ago on one of the other posters you got the same version of white canary the same version of green arrow not the new suit not the new suit for the flash either and then you got the same looking black lightning and the only different one and this is a new photo shoot is supergirl you get to see her in her new costume this is our first proper like hd look because the photo melissa posted was obviously phone quality so it was an hd and the set photos were really good but this is like you know the perfect one and also those promo photos with melissa the other day used the old suit so anyway this is an amazing new look and i have to say i really like this new costume and that's coming from me who thinks the old Supergirl costume is the best costume in the Arrowverse and you know I will never not love that suit but this looks really cool I love the color scheme I love the contrast between the blues and the reds and how it's sort of just made it very much so actually reminds me more of the Flash's suit and how it used to be made not the season 5 or 4 suit really but some of his older suits like the season 2 suit I think it's just really well made and I love the colour scheme and I think Melissa looks great with the bangs I know a lot of people are like oh not so sure about that because you know it's not Supergirl's normal hairstyle I'm up for it I think she looks super amazing in this suit but also this poster 
it really shines on her because you know she's the only one who has a new look and you know she's obviously done a new photograph for that with her new hairstyle that being bangs all right so let's move on to talk about what was going on on the set of supergirl in the past few days so we got a bunch of photos we got some information from various sources one source is YVR Shoots, you can check them out on Twitter in the link in the description below. Also, Canada Graphs going to be using a lot of his photos in this video, so you can check him out, and he's got a blog. You can see lots more photos on the blog, I'm going to be showing a bunch of photos in this video, but there is still more, and there's more information over there, so please be sure to do that, and also follow him on Twitter and check it out, because he's super active. And I think you guys will like it. Okay, so the first photo comes from YVR Shoots. So this is a photo of Melissa in action in the Supergirl suit, the new Supergirl suit. Once again, freaking love the suit. I love the color scheme really so much. It's obviously changed. And this is Melissa in action. I believe she's punching something. You can see the hair all wavy and sort of curly. It's really not that different from our old hair apart from the bangs. And I just think this looks so cool and I am really looking forward to the whole new look and it very much so excites me. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo from Canada Graphs. We've got this one right here. She's in the new suit. This was the other day, just the day after she actually revealed what the new suit would look like. And so I believe the main reason was they knew they would be filming outside and people would take photos so she did that before and I think she, that was a good thing and so this photo is just her between takes and yeah so she's just in a new suit but the main important thing to take notice is at the top of her chest above the Supergirl logo above the House of L symbol we get this weird sign like what does it mean I have no idea it's completely new it's kind of out of place it's obviously got some sort of meaning I don't know leave your theories in the comments down below though so we can talk about that in a later time okay so let's move on to the next photo so this was part of some of the stunt scenes they were doing in Vancouver the other day with Melissa and she's in fact holding back a car and I believe at a point a car flips in the air that is what Canada Graphs said in his blog and so yeah she's doing this she's being a hero obviously and so we got this other photo right here you got a bunch of extras in the background all looking up so something has happened in the sky Melissa as Supergirl is looking up into the sky and just for those of you who don't know this is actually shooting episode 2 so this is not episode 1 so it's not you know whoever the villain for episode 1 was I'm not entirely sure as to who the villain is but it seems like something very much so CGI heavy is going to happen in this episode considering all the destruction and obviously her looking into the sky and the extras looking into the sky and the final photo we're going to talk about is this photo of Melissa she's again just setting up for a shot she is between takes you can see that weird symbol above the house of L symbol on her suit probably a bit better in this photo you got all the extras in the background and everything like that so that is about it for this video just quickly before we end off there is a new Kevin Smith film coming out I'm actually going to be at the panel at Comic Con Kevin Smith's gonna be there fingers crossed Melissa comes out but it has been confirmed Melissa Benoist and Chris Wood are going to have roles in the Jay and Silent Bob reboot that Kevin Smith is actually directing and you know he's making this and so yeah Chris Wood who played Monel? He's finally returning to acting since the end of season three because that was the last time he's actually acted. He directed a film last year, so that's what he was sort of focusing on. And so Melissa's in it. We've seen some photos of Melissa, so probably look forward to some coverage. I believe that I'm probably going to be filming that panel. I'm going to be filming all the Arrowverse panels, so don't worry about that. That will be up on my channel. I can film 15 minutes of each panel. I've been at a lot of the panels, you know, today was the first panel day, but yesterday I watched Batwoman, I watched Pennyworth, I watched all those first episodes, going to be re-watching Batwoman on Saturday, and you know, there's a bunch of exclusive stuff that is going to be happening, obviously the trailers are the big thing for the Arrowverse shows, 
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year and in the summer. So yeah, it's crazy right now. Comic Con is mad. I love it. But yeah, so I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.